Hey guys, Gillian here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I am coming to you guys with a simple look. It's very simple. And you can wear this pretty much everywhere. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. Please subscribe and join our great little family here on youtube you have thank you so very much god bless you if you want to see how i created this beautiful simple look keep watching thank you so very much for watching and just see you guys on my next video be blessed guys i'm gonna be doing my brows using benefit my precisely brow pencil in the shade 5 and benefit proof proof brow pencil the same shape other head is bigger than the other one one with a skinny head shape my brows i want a big head to fill up my brows if you need a detailed brow tutorial in my description box if you want to check it out i'm doing my brows i just follow the shape of my eyebrows to the times i use only this one Your brows don't have to be perfect all the time. Mine, sometimes they're twins, sometimes they're cousins, sometimes sisters, sometimes they're not even related. And that's okay. There might be one of those days that they're not related. gonna be cleaning my brow be using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer this one is in the shade cafe this is the darkest shade they have I'm gonna prime my eyes using Elago Pro primer I'm going to be using e.l.f. translucent powder, Luxe Beauty 229. I'm going to be using this palette, Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're doing a very simple look, nothing dramatic. Just my transition color, I'm going to be using Warm Taupe. Start slowly, building your eyeshadows just because it's easier to fix it if you make a mistake, you know. But if you just start heavy, mm, and you made a mistake, huh, it's a disaster in the making. And the way you hold your brush too, okay? Hold your brush like almost to the end of the brush. That way you don't apply too much pressure. Because if you hold it here, apply too much force. I'm gonna go on top of that with Real Girl Morphe M411. I'm gonna put my lid color in Sigma. E55 shade Vermeer. For my primer, I'm gonna be using Milani Mattifying Primer. For my foundation, I'm gonna be using Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Mahogany. Wet and Wild, you need to add some more shades. Uh huh. BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Foundation Brush Number Four. Light. You're gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Maybelline, you need to come up with some more shades. This is the darker shade, Cafe. And I don't think that's good. This thing has been on forever. 
know why they don't even make Duffer shit. Is it that we don't buy or what? Like, I don't understand. Like, how am I gonna buy something if it's not my shade? What am I gonna do with it? Paint the wall. Beauty blender. I'm gonna use Sasha said my concealer. I'm just gonna contour and go all over my face with other colors pressed powder. This one is in the shade Ebony. Morphe E42. I like this brush because it's just so huge. Morphe M516 I'm gonna do the bottom part of my eyes I'm gonna use this shade Love Letter Put a white pencil in my waterline This one is from Nikkei I might look away Pull your eye down before you apply because you want to end up having your eye when you're done with your makeup. There's no point in your makeup, then you end up without no eye. I'm gonna use NYX lip liner in dark brown, and I'm gonna use NYX lingerie liquid lipstick. This one is in baby doll. I'm gonna highlight using Becca and Jacqueline Hill collaboration. I'm gonna use Prosecco Pop. A little bit of this blush. I'm just gonna put my brush in both of them. I'm gonna set my makeup using Morphe Prep and Set. Setting sprays just bring everything together. Lots of love guys, lots of love to you. Bye guys.